Rainbow there, Mark Pryor. Drafted by the Yankees, you know. Struck out Jeter. Bottom of one, two on, Moises Alou. Espanol now. En dirección hacia el jardín izquierdo. A lo profundo. Pelota means ball, and that means 3 nothing. Now Jeter against Pryor, and he's leaving. That's more beer for us. Jeter again. Going away. Jeter, K three times against Pryor. 10 Ks for Pryor on the A. Bottom of seventh, one on. Sammy Sosa. Singles. Alex Gonzalez will come and score. Sosa with 2,000 hits, not in this game. That'd be a wreck. Eight to three, the Cubs have the lead after that. Now we're in the bottom of the ninth all of a sudden. Eight, seven, pinch runner, Charles Gibson on first. Joe Borowski looking over that way. Oh, he has a good move at first. We got it. Game over. Cubs win it. Eight to seven on Sunday Night Baseball. Red Sox beer maker sensational Curry series Warrior. so far. Split the first two games. Miller Park, bottom one. Brewers down two zip. Two on for Jeff Jenkins. Jenkins fights it off toward third. Is this going to be an amazing play? Boy, what a play. That would be Bill Miller making the amazing that. play. And well, perhaps, perhaps instead of Miller Park, we'll make it Miller Park and change the spelling. You know how that goes. And for 50 million, 25 years, that, we'll do that. Not yet, because, well, first we're gonna walk Manny Ramirez. And Miguel says, I'll do that. Glendon Rush will do that to face Kevin Millar, but he hit one of those four-run homers that Ned Yost talks about in an 11-10 victory Saturday. They're going to throw to him anyway, and he's going to do the same stupid thing. Two out hits will get you to heaven, and that is a two out hit. 5 1 Boston, Millar's ninth of the season. And perhaps then we go with Millar Park. Personally, I think they should have never left County Stadium. They wouldn't be having these problems. Bottom six, still 5 1 Red Sox. Jeff Jenkins, slow roller. Derek Lowe, quick, got that, and then he would develop a blister and have to leave. Six innings, one run allowed. Top eight, Boston up 8-1, safely ahead, you would think. Luis Vizcaino to Millar. You don't even need rush. This guy will serve up a plate. That is another monster shot, 9-1. Millar second of the game, fifth in his last eight games. Sox beat the Brewers, 9-1, and yes, officially it is. Millar Park as Glendon Rush falls to one and nine, and the Marlins come to Millar Park for three starting on Tuesday. And mortal enemies Toronto and Cincinnati engaged in interleague play. It's bitter. Game delay due to rain. Bring out the tarp, do all that. Delayed three hours, five minutes. Big old storm. Pete Rose, the hit king, he's in attendance, paid his own way in. Top of second, scoreless game. Kelvin Escobar is a pitcher. It's Jimmy Haynes. Escobar, the base hit. Austin Kearns can't field it. Greg Myers comes to score. RBI single for Escobar's first major league hit. One nothing Blue Jays. Jays pitchers that hits in all three games of this series. Ken Griffey son. Compelled to hit in that double play by Escobar. Jays win it. Reds the last major league team to be shut out. Toronto the last American League team with a shutout. Tigers Giants bottom six. 6-4 six Eldricks. Alan Trammell comes out with two out to get his big man. Franklin Herman. He's 6-7. Herman Munster summoned from the pen and he immediately will balk. Martin Bernard comes in to score from third. Giants cut it to 6-5. Well, later on in the at-bat, Herman facing Rich Aureli, and after fouling off a bunt attempt, the former driller knocks in a single. Andres Galarraga scores, tied at six. Alan Trammell needs some sort of a pill, although maybe, well, that would be fine. Next batter, Edgardo Alfonso, pinch hitting for the first time this season. He's now 12 for 37 in his career off the bench. Aurelio will score. Giants go up 7-6. Win by same. Finish up a 9-3 homestand. The White Sox and Dodgers finished up their first series since the 59 series. Paul Aduka, 17-game hit streak, and this is a big one. Going the other way with it, and into the corner. No, 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 Pelota! It's going around, and he's racing. DeLuca is moving like a tremendous machine inside the park. Fourth homer of the year. First career inside the park homer. Ties Boog Powell on the career list for that. 2 nothing Dodgers. First inside the park homer for L.A., of course, since 1994. Who didn't know that? Esteban La has a major league leading 1.90 ERA. Fred McGriff going away there, and then LaDuca has to go away. Two out. Core is going away. Strikes out the side. Seven innings pitch. Nine Ks. Top of five. Five two socks. Man on. Man off. Frank Thomas conks that thing out. 11 game history for him. He was six for nine in the series. 13 dongs. White Sox win it by a count of 10 to three.
Playing time 46 seconds. Twin starter Joe Mays trying to win his fifth straight start as opposed to not trying, I guess. Bottom of third, one nothing fathers. Mays, Mark Kotze. Throws down the bunt. It's nice, and there's no throw needed because you can't get him. Mark Loretta put in the same kind of position. Again, no throw. Kotze would eventually score. Padres up 2 0. Eighth inning, tied at three. Torrey Hunter's at bat against Brian Lawrence. And he hits it over some fencing that had been set up before the game. Ninth of the year, 4 3, the Twins. Bottom eight, same score. Loretta against the Troy Hawkins. Lining that, Keith Lockhart and Gary Matthews Jr. are going to come around. Loretta goes four for five. Fathers win at nine to four. The Twins' win streak is done at three. Let's move to the Royals and the Rockies. Bottom second, 4-2 Rocks, no outs. Pitcher Scott Ellerton facing pitcher Jeremy F. Felton. Ellerton hits it to center where Carlos Beltran, who is not a pitcher but a fine center fielder, makes the diving catch. Next batter, Juan Uripe. And he'll hit it very high and foul. Mike Swinney, the first baseman, over, and he's having some sun problems. And you know, sometimes if you don't know the answer, you just got to guess. And it turns out just fine. Sweeney, shocked as anybody that there's an out on that play. Top third, same score, one out. Two on, Michael Tucker facing Ellerton, and everybody gets to kind of walk home, or at least jog. Tucker's eighth, 5-4 Royals. Now, bottom five, 6-5. Six, five. Bases loaded, Rick Hart walks Preston Wilson. Bummer, we're tied at six. All right, next batter, Chris Stein's new pitcher, Jason Gilflon. And again, Stein's with the base. Yeah, oh, that two is ball four. Take your base. Seven, six, Rockets. Top eight, it's now eight, seven, Rocks. We switched around. Aaron Guile with the bases loaded. And Brian Fuentes throws him a strike. Stein's will haul that in. Final, eight, seven, Rocks. Yeah, that's much better than walking guys. Native Americans and the Diamondbacks. Second inning, Ben Broussard on third. John McDonald's at bat. The pitcher, Brandon Webb, is going to throw it in the dirt, and then it gets very confusing. Broussard is allowed to score here. Bob, Bob Brindley wants to find out why. We'll take a closer look. The pitch in the dirt. The catcher, Chad Moeller, takes off his mask to scoop up the ball, and that's wrong. That's cheating. Off memory, and I might be paraphrasing the MLB rulebook, 7.05 section D states, each runner, including the batter runner, May, without liability, be put out, advance two bases if a fielder deliberately touches the thrown ball with his cap mask or any part of his uniform detached from his proper place in his person. That was wrong. It can't happen. And that's why all that happened. Arizona's up 5-1. Hammock. That's Rob Hammock. Hitting that triple. Carlos Bayarga. Lyle Overbay both come to score. 7-0. Hammock needing a homer for the cycle. Him and Selly striking him out, though. Crowd appreciates the near cycle. In fact, they had two triples. Arizona wins this game 13 to 3. Mariners Mets game one. And you know what they say, they being the Van Pattens. Baseball, a game of inches. And now Leiter's going to find that out first to Freddie Garcia. The base is loaded inches by Joe McEwing's glove. Single scores run. Now Jeff Cirillo, he's trying, and the ball gets there inches ahead of him. He's meat, 4 0 Mariners. Top second, Leiter facing Mike Cameron. And Cameron, a blooper, and McEwing's again. Poor guy. He's just inches away. Shame Mama didn't make him taller. Ichiro would score 5 0 Mariners. Two batters later, six zip now. Cirillo would bat. Leiter, 60 feet, six inches away. And Vance Wilson just inches from actually catching that. Cameron would would score on the wild pitch, 7-0 Mariners. Same at bat. Well, that time later, he missed the strike zone by about two feet. And again, inches, though, from Wilson's glove. Oh, Randy Wynn would score getting in inches from the tag. 8 nothing. Take a look one more time. Ladder, he's there, but can't quite get it down. Each row, four for six. A couple stolen bags. Mariners win it 13-1. They're 16-0 in day games. And then it got bad for the Mets. Not to copy John or anything, but you know, baseball is a game of inches. Top of six, Mariners up 3-0, two on for Dan Wilson. Wilson fly ball to center. Joey Shinjo, just inches. Couldn't get it, Greg Colbrun. Randy win. It would be just over an inch, I guess. Five nothing, the Mariners. Vance Wilson against Jamie Moyer, inches away from hitting that baseball, maybe less than an inch. Moyer, MLB's first 10 game winner this season. Bottom eight, Shigatoshi Hasegawa. The man on Wilson, line it back to the mound. Hasegawa kicks it right back to Carlos Guillen for the 1 6 4 3 double play. The Mariners win 7 0. Ichiro 6 for 11 in the double head of the Mariners win by a combined score of 20 to 1. And Tony Gwynn's inspired. The opportunities for the Phillies. A's back in Philly for the first time since Connie Mack, although he's not with them any longer. Kevin Millwood on the bump. Mike Lieberthal calls for the pitch inside to Terrence Long and well. <laughs> Ball three, Long kind of scoots himself out of the way. That's right, next pitch, full count. Millwood again, 
about the same spot. This time, we get the punch out. Strike three. Millwood gets out of a jam. He's up 2-1 at that point. Still 2-1. Mark Mulder pitching to David Bell, who with this one raises his average up to 201. On fire. Bobby Abreu scoring easily. 3-1 fills. Bottom seven, four, one fills. Mike New intentionally walks Bobby Abreu to get to Pat Burrell because instead of hitting 201, he's hitting a buck 95. That has to hurt. Two on for Burrell. Facing new second pitch 81 all oh, the change up for way out in front of that one Next pitch first base oh, oh, that was even slower Burl holds back hits the three-run homer is 11th. He's now hitting 199 Phil's win at 7-1 game two Baseball is a game of inch bottom of the first Phillies down 1-0 Aaron Harang against Jim Tomei and even with derogatory credit You can own a brand new car his 14th Phil's get out Two to one. Bottom of three. Fills up 4 1. Harangue is Bobby Abreu. And that's going out also solo this time. Ninth of the year. Fills out by a count of five to one. Fifth inning. Randy Wolf. Arubio Durazo. They call that a slider. Wolf, seven Ks. Phillies win. Eight to three. Go wild. Home runs. Not in a row. Just his last three hits. All homers. There you see. Crank, crank, crank. And you know why? His singles are stupid. Bottom fifth, Lopez facing Josh Fogg, and he drives another one. Poor Fogg. Gonna get a new baseball. Oh, well, cheaper than therapy. 17th for Lopez. His last four hits have now been homers. Next inning, game tied in four, Lopez. Again, walk him! Walk him! Did you know the farther you hit it, the louder you have to talk. 18th for Lopez, bettering last season's total. 10 now in 10 games. Top eight, down 6-5 with the Buccos. Kenny Lofton with the bases loaded. Rafael for call. Slick love work there in the top nine. John Smoltz on. First and third, two outs. Reggie Sanders. Oh, that's a tight spot, but Gary Sheffield going to get over and haul that in. Buffet's open. Let's eat. Braves win 6-5. Expos in their home away from home. San Juan, Puerto Rico finishing up with Texas and Juan Gonzalez. Fourth inning, one nothing Rangers on the Carl Everett homer. And then Gonzalez, home run of Tomo Olka. The curtain call for Gonzalez, his 18th home run of the season. 2-0, the Rangers have it. Bottom eight game tied at two. Brad Wilkerson talking that thing into the vacancy. It'll bounce once and then over. Orlando Cabrera comes to score. Expos lead it 3-2. to Alex Rodriguez coming in the ninth to pinch hit. Two out. Rocky Biddle gets him looking. Another case of the man holding us down. Rangers have lost nine in a row. Marlins top third, 2-1 Marlins. Brad Penny facing Ramon Ortiz. You know, pitchers, they just, when they have to hit, never get anything good to happen to them. That's foul. First base side, Derek Lee. Drifting, drifting. Look out for the bite! Got it. He needed the baseball a lot more than the actual paying customer. There you see it. Now poor Ortiz is 0 for 19 lifetime. Nice play. Top 5, 5 3 Marlins. Jeff Devannon, who usually does nothing but hit home runs lately, here grounds it, except Kenny forgot to, like, cover first. We're pretty sure they worked on that in spring training. Look at it again. Devannon will reach. Mental mistake for Penny. Could have had an out. Adam Kenny takes advantage of the extra out, as always. RBI single scoring Benji Molina. Marlins lead cut to 5 4 later in the inning. Devannon already had scored. On a Troy Gloss sack fly to tie it at five. Garrett Anderson, no relation. In the gap, Adam Kennedy scoring the go-ahead run. Yes, he is in. And some person named Jack McKeon will get the hook for Brad Penny. Allegedly, he is the manager of that team. Angels, seven unanswered runs to win at 8-5. Orioles and the Cards, what did you do for Scott Rowland's mom's birthday? We're going to get to that soon. Bottom of three, 3 nothing Cardinals. Jim Edmonds has one home run already. Ibid, 15 for him. Dead center on this one. Cards are out front by a count of 4-0. Top of four, home plate um, Doug Eddings. He's ruling that Jeff Conan did not check his swing. Mike Hargrove having kittens about that. Comes out to get into this. Who's going to be thrown out by Doug Eddings? Mike Hargrove, Jeff Conan, Tony LaRusso, B.J. Surhoff is not even in the game, or a ham sandwich. Eddings looks, deliberates with himself, and eventually rules. He's got to go to the bench. Suroff. Suroff, you're out of there. He's going to come out. Why me? O's go on to score seven unanswered runs. Bottom of five, seven, six. Mike Matheny base hit to Melvin Mora. Tina Martinez is rounding third. ESPN Classic takes us back to the third inning. Mora throwing out Scott Roll in the third. So on this play, picking him back up. Mora, a strike. What a hose. Got him at the plate. Bottom of six, tied at seven. Rolling. His mom's birthday, mind you. Base is loaded. I am king of the diamond! Let there be an abundant clubhouse feast! Bring me the finest meats and cheeses in all the land! 
Cards go out 11 7. Hold on to win at 11 10. Third career grand slam. Equally exciting Devil Rays and Astros. Top six, 2 1 Strohs. Jim Redding gets Marlon Anderson. The Jeff can't, and then look at Jeff. He's going to show everybody. I got mad hops. He gestures part of 18 consecutive batters retired in a streak by Redding. Top nine, Billy Wagner looking to pick up his 200th career save, become the Astros all time save leader, breaking a tie with Dave Smith. That'll help. Gets Terry Shumpert 99 mile an hour gas. Jared Sandberg got a base hit. And then we're going to, well, oh, Jason Tyner coming to pinch run. He didn't do a very good job of it. He's caught stealing, so to speak. Same at bat. Rocco Baldelli to short to end the game. It's Billy's highlight. I was just reading it. Astros win it 2 1. Wagner 200 now, career save.